Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gonzi and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different from the usual. I've just watched this documentary that is playing right now over my shoulder, which is called Brothers in Blood, The Lions of the Savvy Sons. Now, link in the description below for the documentary that is on YouTube for free with good quality. Go watch it if you guys if you like animal documentaries. But beware, it is extremely raw. They show everything that happens and it gets dark. So viewer description is highly advised for this documentary about lions, which is it was insane. It, it got to I'm desensitized to animal stuff like that with blood and visceral and attacks and everything I had to look away at certain points so beware beware do it on your own risk this is about a coalition of six lions called pretty boy rasta scar mr t makulu which was the leader and kiki tail they dominated this national reserve in south africa with numbers never seen before and when stuff happened that they never saw before the doc begins here with them as cubs eventually as in all prides the male lions leave the prides but these six lions stay together and they form a coalition which is a group of lions only lions no lionesses involved all six band together and they just go on this murdering spree of every single lion they came across it got to a point where they had taken over eight prides. They killed over a hundred lions, including cubs. So the, they show the first pride they take over. They attack, yeah, they kill one of the males. And then Mr. T and Kinky Tail go around and kill and eat every single cub that they see every single one of them and they show it and it's bad and it's bad it's bad i'm not gonna uh like describe it but it gets super dark it's wild bro it's so wild man that wasn't even the wildest thing that i saw one of the i don't i don't, I don't recall if there was the same pride mr t yeah is mating with one of the lionesses and she just pushes him off she doesn't want nothing to do with him and he basically grabs her neck doesn't let go he kills the lioness which was mental i have never seen that before she was not defending her cubs they will fight to the death to protect the cubs that's it that has been recorded before but they were mating, she rejected Mr. T, and he killed the lioness. And ate the lioness. Like, I was gobsmacked, bro. I have never seen that behavior before on all my time watching nature documentaries. That was fucked to see, yeah? After being on top of this reserve for so long, the Mapogos, which was the, their name, the Mapogo Lions, there's this issue, right, where Mr. T wants to be the leader. He just wants to. It's, it's in his DNA. He got, he got to take the king out. He got to challenge Makulu. And Makulu don't play like that. So Makulu fucks him up. Like, but fucks him up, bro. The main injury being he bits through his paw. Like, he said teeth out, fucked him up, over, yeah? One thing happens that has never been recorded until that point, yeah? Where this coalition of lions, the, these six, yeah? Split into two groups where Kinky Tail and Mr. T go east of the territory and the rest of the pride stays west. And they meet occasionally and they are friendly to each other, which is wild it's almost like okay you two are always fucking stuff up go over there yeah patrol that side and we stay here and like they had such a large territory that makulu would go patrol the borders of his territory as lions do and it would take a week to go around the whole 
reserve. But as always, uh, the kingdom always comes crashing down. And in June 2010, uh, a group of five male lions called the Majin Gilan. I think that's it. Let's call it Majin, like Majin Buu from Dragon Ball. Arrive on Kinky Tail and Mr. T's territory on the east side. So they arrive and they are on the buffalo hunt. And Mr. T and Kinky Tail see one of them. They attack him and they mash him up. Like Mr. T has his neck while Kinky Tail's wrecking his groin area, his underbelly. He's, they are fucking him up. And they break his spine and leave him to die. And they have footage of all of this. All of this is recorded. And they show all of it. It's fucked up, man. It's so fucked up. But they leave him to die. And it took him hours to die. But the same night, they are following the Majin Lions on the movie. And then Kinky Tail attacks two of them. By himself, by the way. He's by himself. The two run away. Yeah, well... Kinky Tail is chasing them, but the other two are behind Kinky Tail, and eventually the crew comes up, comes up on the road, and beneath this cloud of dust, they have him. They have him, and it's four on one, and they are fucking Kinky Tail up. They record everything, and they show everything. It's fucked. They are mashing brother up. They are destroying him, and. It's fucked up, man. They rip him apart. One lion on his neck. One on its back. So the third one, it's beating his, his groin. They are they are torturing him. It, 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 it's like torture. He cannot escape. They, they break his spine. And listen, yeah. Take a warning. You hear it. Like, it's like a gunshot going off. They show the clip of the audio of the spine being ripped. It's like a gunshot. Like, gone. And you are like, I'm like, oh my god, this is fucked. Then, after the spine breaking sound, Mr. T arrives. He tries, he, he tries to save him. Uh, he tries to save Kinky Tail, but it's too late. He's gonna die. He cannot move. Um, and Mr. T runs off. The lions chase him, and they just leave Kinky Tail behind for death. For death. And they eventually come back and they, they start eating him alive. He's still alive. Uh, he has no feeling on his back leg, so he's not feeling them just taking chunks out of him. And they are eating, they eat his tail, the hind legs, and eventually uh, the, the crew sees him taking his last breath and while he's being eaten alive by these four lions. And Mr. T just has one choice, he has to go back to Makulu's pride, and he does, and they accept him, which was wild as well, they accept, accept him back, but... Mr. T couldn't help himself and soon after being accepted back he starts to attack and eat the cubs of the pride we, and for some reason Makulu didn't do none of the lions did anything and they just let uh, Mr. T kill and eat all of the cubs and Mr. T starts mating with the lionesses and becomes the dominant male of the pride and then everything comes crashing down for the Mopogos. Rasta disappears. It, it, the, it, nobody knows what happened to him. It thought he was killed maybe by poachers or the Majin Lions when they came uh, down to the to uh, the Mopogos territory to the west. Uh, around the same time, Scar left the game reserve and was shot by locals. Uh, and then the Mopogos were down to three members of the original sticks, which were Bakulu, Pretty Boy, and Mr. T. And then on March 16, 2012, uh, a new coalition called the Salatis 
arrive at the last Mapoko territory, uh, territory. They had a little small pocket now because they're only three. They are old as well, like the uh, average male lion. The, the average lion lifespan in a wild is like 12 years old. Makulu was 14. Like, brother was old for a lion. And they arrived through the south on the territory. They single out the leader. Mr. T. He, by the time the crew go in, he's already being attacked. When they arrive, he has a hole this big, yeah, on his back. And Mr. T is being fucked about. He's getting annihilated, bro. He was paralyzed. They would attack him on the on this coordinated fashion. One lion distracts him, while the other three pounce on, on him and they did this a, a couple times, attack, move away, attack, move away, attack, move away. Eventually, they leave, just leave him to die on the side of the road. And the crew watched him take his last breath and he dies. Then, uh, Makulu and Pretty Boy just have to leave the territory unless they will be killed as well. And the documentary ends, man, with... And it was the wildest doc I've ever watched. And... Because it was not only the visceral and the raw side of of the, the the doc. It was so weird because on one hand, when you're watching the documentary and you get accustomed to the six lion, and in, in people on the doc are telling you about their personalities and how they are, how they act with each other and how much they protect each other. They humanize the lions only to show you they are animals. And the moment Mr. T is killing that lioness, they have the shot of Mr. T's eyes. And you are looking into the eyes of a lion that does not give a flying fuck. He does not care. Nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing. You are looking into the eyes of something that you cannot comprehend. I certainly can't. One of my favorite documentaries it's heavy though it is legit heavy and if you do not have a if you cannot handle that type of stuff don't watch it but um it was legit incredible thank you so much for watching the video man if you guys enjoyed it as much as i did tell me if you enjoy this type of content so we can mix it up a bit not as much reactions and maybe we start diving in into reviews as well if you guys enjoy the type of content as always before you go don't forget to have videos on the channel man come on bro keep going first as always drink water go tell somebody you love them and if you're here or not to do man like the video subscribe to the channel my name is Gonzalez and see you guys tomorrow goodbye